Hi guys, this is Patricia from Yarny Cat Crochet and this video is a couple of different things. The first thing is going to be a shout out video uh, to a new channel I come across, brand new, one video on it so far. I love getting those. Um, <laughs> and uh, also an uh, update on Kage's uh, contest and um, a finished object and an update on the oolong tea shawl so let's get started first things first because if y'all click out i want to make sure that the first thing i did was shout out this new channel okay i got it written down so if i keep looking down i'm just kind of looking at it my well my credit card statement but <laughs> um anyway so um her name is, well, I don't know her first name, but her channel is Beanie's Cozy Creations. Um, I'm going to put a link to her channel, um, hopefully in the title bar, but if not in the description, so look for it. Um, she has 23 subbies and only one video, and that video is a yarn haul video, partly Joann's and partly a local yarn shop that uh, she shops at in Saginaw, Michigan. Okay, all the places where this girl shops and stuff was my old stopping grounds whenever I lived in Michigan. So that first drew me, and then um, her yarn haul was awesome. And then um, she's fixing to do a craft fair, and uh, she likes all the same colors I do, and um, she seems super sweet. Younger girl um, uh, seems really excited, and I think that um, with her experience with doing the craft fair, she's teaching her mom, spreading her joy. <laughs> um, uh, I really think that she's going to be an awesome addition to our yarny community and i really want you guys to go on over there do a yarny cat raid um maybe explain what a raid is just in case she doesn't know <laughs> and um show the love and subscribe to her channel support her she has 22 subbies right now um, 187 views on her one video that she got up there and she um, could really I think we should really get behind her support her lift up her channel um, I really like doing that it makes me feel great that I'm spreading the joy and um, you will too <laughs> and um, just uh, it's an exciting day whenever you get to find a new channel and you get to throw um, some subs her way. I mean, I'm not even at a thousand yet, but I enjoy seeing people grow. And I think, I really think that this is going to be a really awesome addition to our YouTube library and Yarny family. So, um, she had, uh, she went and got some really good deals at an LYS and, um, and she got some nice yarn for Joann's and she shows the yarn. She tells you, um, what she's going to do with it. She seems a lot of fun. So, um, please go on over there, show the yarny love, do a yarn, uh, a yarny cat raid. And if you do, Everybody that goes over there and does a Yarny Cat Raid will be put into, and now it's not required, but if you do do it, that's where I'm going to go pick the people off of that video. I will put the link to the video and the link to her channel. I'll go to that video. That's the video I'm going to. So you don't have to do it. It's not a requirement, but that's where I'm going to pick the names. <laughs> So I will, I will gift, um, a pattern up to $5 off of Etsy. If y'all go over there and show the love, um, and do a Yarny Cat Raid. If you don't want to enter into the contest, don't put Yarny Cat Raid in, um, the title because, um, that's how I'm going to use it to pick it. And, um, you could spell that in any form or fashion, however you want to spell it as long as it's in there <laughs> but it is yarny cat 
Y-A-R-N-Y-C-A-T, all, all one word. And then RAID, R-A-I-D. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's see how far we can make her channel grow. It'll be such a fun thing to do, a, a way to spread a joy, be a little joy bomb in our corner of the world today. And um, yay, new channel, <laughs> more people. <laughs> Join our tribe. Um, but anyway. Um, so. Uh, oh and then her logo is a little cat. So I thought it was so cute. It was a beanie cat. Okay. So. That being said. Look for the. Um, I might even have put some pictures up here. When I. Um, when I do the edit on this. Y'all have to please excuse me. I started new medicine today and my heart rate has went up and I had to call my doctor. So I'm waiting for him to call. So a little loopy at the moment because of the boop, 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 you know. Okay, so finished project. I know it's been a while. I finished it a while ago and I didn't get to show you guys. Um, I did a market bag with, um, oh gosh, what was, it was Premier Basics in um, a stripe. I can't, just go back and look at that video. <laughs> I started a market bag with Premier Basics. And um, and then I topped it off with the Premier Basics uh, color and purple. And it was cool because the color palette matched the stripey one. I'm sure they did it on purpose. I'm sure that's how you design things. I don't know, but I loved it for designing my bag. So I want to show you. Doo, doo, doo. That's how it turned out. Isn't it lovely? If I do say so myself. Self-serving, but check it out. It's got a nice handle. Um, it's going to go in my booth when I do the, the market. Um, market booth up in the square, in the town square. But um, I did, I, I extra stitched around the corners so that it would be strong, you know, for when you hold it. And it's pretty big. I don't, I don't know how many inches, but like it goes from here uh, down past, you know, to my waist. So it's pretty, pretty long um, market bag size. Be perfect for, you know anything <laughs> so that's my finished object um i did that all single crochet and um some slip stitches slip stitched it together on the edges um and uh sorry the camera is moving my dog just went past it um and then you know slip stitches around here to make it stronger on the edges so that's what i did i'm gonna put it back in its bag so it will be ready for selling. <laughs> I got these real thin, um, uh, what do you call them, mailing bags, which I don't think are good for mailing, unless you're gonna mail a really light thing or put, sorry, my dog hit the stand again, <laughs> or put them in a couple of, um, lay down, Harley, lay down. Or put them in a couple of, mailing bags but it was just too thin so i'm using it for products that way it'll keep it clean and um you know they'll have a bag to take it home in so i'm gonna adjust this a little bit more since my dog has knocked it around a little bit oh, sorry guys okay so that's the finished object now i have a caught up oolong tea shawl <laughs> Um, I'm fixing though to run out of yarn because I only got gifted two of these and it was um, Christmas classic festive cakes in the colorway of gingerbread and there was only two so um, but I gotta say my shawl is big enough if I had to stop I'm guessing in one or two more rows because it takes forever now to get and I have not weaved in any of the ends, so please excuse me. But it takes forever now to get from one side to the other. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> but um, this is how it's going. Let me start at the top and 
it's pretty big sorry it's so big i can't raise my arms anymore there we go <laughs> um i just really love how it's turning out and um but this is all the yarn i have left and i'm guessing it'll make one to two more swipes and we're not done with the tutorial yet but like i said it it's um oh don't drop the yarn all right it uh sorry <laughs> it's being a little difficult okay now it doesn't it lays correctly my hair is just making everything more difficult but it covers my arms already to my elbows which is what I, I like my elbows to be covered so if i had to stop in one or two more oh sorry it'd be longer if i didn't have it so bulked up on my shoulder but if i had to in one or two more rows um stop on this one it would be okay um because it has plenty of uh coverage on it and then i've just wrapped the yarn all the way around myself okay i'm gonna put this down before i ruin it and i want to show you the other one that i stopped because oh shoot well i'm just knocking things left and right i'm gonna show you the other one that i stopped because um i had very just a little bit of yarn left and see it's it's not nearly big enough you could use this as a you know I don't like those ones where you wrap it like that, but you could use one like that. But I found this much. Um, it's a smaller one because I was doing the Mandala bonus bundles, those bigger bonus bundles right there. Um, but this is in the same colorway. Albeit the color changes are gonna be sooner than what it would be with the bigger colorway. Um, I don't know how that's going to affect it, but I really don't care. I want to try and get this shawl finished. <laughs> but um, it's in the same colorway of Sorcerer. It's um, Mandala. Not the bonus. It's, it's like, okay, let me take it out of the package. I'm sorry, guys. I know better. I've been here a long, long time. Uh, there you go. Um, it, it's in the colorway of Sorcerer. It's a three-way, same as the bonus bundle. But um, just some yarny lusciousness here. I just love it so much. It kind of loves me. See the heart? <laughs> it kind of got messed up right there. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so I don't know how much more that would do. Maybe make it normal. I don't know. But I'm going to add it to it. I have to go back and find out which row I'm on um, with this one because I had to stop. But let's see. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I think I'm on row thirty on that one. I think and we're on row. 45 now so that wouldn't be too hard to get this to there if that's enough yarn i don't know but i really like the colorway of that one and if i ever got more sorcerer i definitely would make another one with it because check those colors out <laughs> they're beautiful and i really don't think how quick the color changes are going to matter as long as all the colors are the same colors so you know and you like i said I am not good at this, so please don't judge me. <laughs> you could, um, I would never, but <laughs> you could do this with it, you know, and be fabulous. Um, I don't know how fabulous I look, but <laughs> I don't like, you know, I just don't like it. But anyway, I like shawls or wraps. I like wraps a lot. Okay. Oh my goodness. I consider wraps the, um, the rectangle ones just in case you didn't know what i was talking about okay and i can't get my cat to come here i don't think kage come here bubba kage 
All right. Well, y'all know what he looks like. If you don't go back and watch the other videos or all the posts, um, Kage made it to the second round on America's Favorite Pet. <laughs> Thanks to all of you all for going over and voting. Um, there is a QR code in many of uh, my videos and my on my community post even. You can go to my community post, find the QR code. Um, you get a free vote every day and you can donate to the charity and get extra votes. Um, they, uh, it's PAWS, P-A-W-S, and, um, it's, uh, a charity, uh, raise money for, um, animals and shelters and stuff like that. And I'm not asking anybody to do that, but if you are of the kind that does like to give to animal, um, uh, rescues and stuff like that, then please consider doing that and the votes go to Kage. So then, um, he gets extra votes. So that would be awesome too. So it's actually a charity that raises um, raises money, but it's also a contest because the winner gets ten thousand dollars, and they get to be in a magazine and be called America's favorite pet. He's already my favorite pet, so he doesn't have to win. But it would be nice because the ten thousand dollars would make life better for all of us, including him and his sister Harley. She's a pit bull. <laughs> And, um, and she's side-eyeing me because I said her name, <laughs> but anyway, um, it would make, uh, all of our lives better, but it, it would especially, uh, be good for Kage because I could get him pet insurance and stuff like that. And, um, he's a rescue. We rescued him. Um, well, so we didn't personally rescue him, uh, a, um, shelter in Kentucky rescued him and we went down and we're from Indiana but we went down into Kentucky and got him from the shelter and um he was part of a hoarding situation and um he had a bunch of brothers and sisters and they all had Disney names so get ready for this Kage's Disney name while he was in the shelter was Bagheera because he's black black kitty you know um he is a, a bombay cat and they were bred in kentucky in the 50s um out of a american uh short hair and um oh gosh what is the name of those other cats um i should have looked this up before i did the video um Well, I can't re remember the name of the other cat, but if you look up Bombay cats, you can learn all the information. <laughs> but anyway, they were bred in the 1950s. And so there is um, a lot of them. That his eyes uh, turn from copper to um, a green, depending on what light he's in, uh, what colors he's up against in a picture. And, um, sometimes just when he's sitting in your lap, <laughs> it just, it's just strange, but they're like a copper, golden copper, like all the colors that I love. And, um, sometimes they're green, but, uh, he's adorable. And, um, his name was Bagheera and we changed it to Kage, which in case you guys were wondering, why do we call him Kage? It's not cage. Like it looks <laughs> when it's spelled, uh, K-A-G-E. It's Kage. It's um, Japanese. It means shadow. Because he looks like a shadow. <laughs> but um, he's like the ninja. <laughs> um, and, he, and he does tricks like parkour like a ninja across the house and across your head. And <laughs> just in the air. <laughs> but he's a lot of fun. And um, so I thought it would be fun to enter him in the contest. And he's in fourth place. Yay! I hope to get him back up um, with all your all's uh, votes. So if you could go vote daily, um, I know that's a lot to ask. So even if you just voted once, thank you so much. You mean the world to us. But if you can go and vote daily, please do that because um, it's so exciting. He has a really good chance um, being still in fourth. I mean, that's pretty good. So if we could get him up there, yeah. And I know some of you have already voted today because you have texted me and thank you so much. Um, so please go on over and check out um, 
Beanie's channel. Please support her. And if you made it this far in the video, you're a rock star. And remember, I am going to put, um, I'm going to go to her channel on that video. And if you, um, if you went over there and did a Yarny Cat raid, I'm going to do a drawing from that video. And um, the winner will receive up to $5, one pattern from Etsy that I will uh, screenshot and digitally mail to you. And then once you get it, I'll delete it from my site because I don't um, double dip on any patterns for any creator. And um, so I'm so excited to do this. And uh, so um, all the rules will be in the description. Um, please remember to read those. And um, it's not this video that you have to comment on. Although, please comment, great, share, and subscribe. <laughs> um, but um, it's her video that you have to comment on for the contest. And I will um, put all the rules in the description. And um, let's see, we'll give this. So I forgot what today is. I think it's the 9th. We'll give this two weeks from today. I'll put the end date in the description box so you can see that. So that'll give her two full weeks of people going on over and liking. And um, uh, just, yay, I can't wait. I can't wait um, to see the results and see those numbers go up. And um, just y'all be a little joy bomb in your corner of the world today and go on over and do that and you'll get entered for a five dollar pattern from etsy yay um it's open worldwide because i can digitally mail to anybody and um do your best to spread a little joy in your corner of the world and i'll see you in the next video